Yeah, so this is Sydney and the first interview slash, or whatever, I think I've shot since leaving the radio show. So I went down there and the weather wasn't that good. But it was fun to, uh, as always, just go meet some people from pretty much MySpace. And this is Robin Luau, who's a great singer, actress, dancer, and uh, she's incredible. And she invited me along to come and check out her do a little show with her partner. And so I grabbed Olivia, my friend, we jumped in the car, and this is what happened with Robin Luau. I've also got a MySpace page, which is uh, www.myspace.com forward slash Robin Lowell. You can find out all about my crazy life. Uh, so this is uh, the track, the single, it's called She Devil. Yeah. I watch the world just pass me by like a drifting satellite. I cry to heaven from my broken head. There's no one home I've sailed across the seven seas Still I'm searching for the key To peace and love But I can't find my way Cause she devil stole my heart She devil watched me fall apart I'm actually waiting for a bus out in the rain. That's <laughs> what it feels like. We've just seen you do some songs on stage and where are we exactly? I thought we were at the Annandale Hotel, but we're not. No, we're, we're on the corner of Johnston and Parramatta Road here, which is, a, it's a very, it used to be quite a good um, venue for, for bands. It's got actually a really good sound system, uh, but it's really good, I guess, for me um, just to uh, practice some songs. <laughs> oh, look, see? Cheer! Look at that. That's exciting. That's what you get. Celebrities on every corner. Now, with your music, <laughs> I love dreams. How did it all start for you with your singing? I love and all that stuff. Um, I actually was really fortunate to have uh, my parents support me, especially my mum. She took me seriously when at five years old I said, oh look, you know, I want to be on TV and I want to sing. And, <laughs> and she turned around and she said, you know what? Yeah, you could do it. So, um, you know, when you've got that support and that much encouragement um, it, it really does go a long way and a little bit of um, talent doesn't help hurt as well yes. you know talent's a good thing and, and so where, where did it like actually start though for you like uh, how did girlfriend come about for you was that the first thing that you did that was big no no, no I, I'd been uh, writing and singing and dancing for or well, since I was very young not the Johnny Young Scallant School uh, how did you know was it yes <laughs> I just guessed no, no, no. Well, actually, back in those days, there, back in those days, yeah. there was not very much else out there. And uh, when we first moved to Australia, that was really huge. So um, my parents scraped together all their their pocket money and and sent me because it wasn't cheap back then either. Um, and we, I came from a very poor family, so. Uh, I'd been auditioning for things and getting into lots of stage shows and at, at a young age and um, the manager slash producer saw me performing out at Australia's Wonderland of all places. Wow. Yeah, it's true. And um, he said, look, we've got this girl group together. Um, we need a lead singer. Are you interested in it? And I actually went and saw, sat in on one of their rehearsals and... Uh, and it was pretty woeful at the time. <laughs> it was pretty bad, but I saw the um, opportunity and the potential to go somewhere, and especially um, they had a record company interest already because it was very cute, it was very marketable, and I just thought, you know what, this could be my opportunity, my way to get in, and I was very good at spotting opportunities back then. Yeah, so that's how I, how I started. Can you, like, believe that, I mean, I'm sure that you growing up, you'd have the, the hairbrush out, yeah, and even though there's so many girls that probably do that, even probably to your stuff, like, what's that feel like for you to take that from a bedroom? I mean, is there a favourite song you did as a kid that you can, favourite memory of that? Yeah, I actually remember singing um, Dionne Warwick's um, Heartbreaker, Why Do You Have To Be A Heartbreaker, right. uh, in the mirror. Uh, I would practice at least an hour every night. Uh, I never used to watch much TV back then and uh, it, yeah, it really paid off and to think that um, I have a young 
artists or performers or singers um, can do that to my music is really, you know, that that's really flattering for me and I say thank you. Yeah, that's like the circle completing itself. Look, what advice would you have for young kids out there that might be seeing you now or whatever and they're thinking they want to chase their dream? What sort of advice would you have? Uh, I would say stick to it, uh, do what you love and love what you do. That way at the end of the day there's you don't have any excuses. Uh, I hear so many people these days uh, get to a certain age and they're like, oh man, if I had just stuck to that, I really loved doing that, but you know, then they grew older and, and wanted money and, and materialistic things and, and forgot about the dream. I would say stick to the dream. Uh, yeah, yeah, because your happiness is everything, really. What year, what year did uh, Idiot Box come out? Oh, uh, 98? I've seen you before that, like, I've seen you in that movie, brilliant. What, uh, was that your first ever acting role? Yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> it's funny, uh, when I was in Girlfriend, we all auditioned for Home and Away. <laughs> <laughs> we all auditioned for Home and Away, and, uh, the you got a feature film instead. No, the casting director said, oh, look, you know, we like this, the dark girl. Can we use her? And uh, they said, well, no, it's all or, or nothing. So I missed out on that. But then years down the track, she, I got this call and she said, look, you know, I don't know if you're interested, but uh, could you come in and read for us? And uh, I did the, uh, did the audition and she said, uh, she rang me back and said, look, you know, would you mind reading opposite Jeremy Sims? And... Uh, and that was like, whoa, well, sure, <laughs> I wouldn't mind sitting opposite Jeremy Simpson. Uh, yeah, and then they offered me the part of the female lead role, which is like, ah! Is uh, something you love doing? Yeah, actually, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. But it was more the, um, the process of learning that I loved more than, you know, being in front of the camera. Um, it was more the intricacies of um, the... How, how the script was written and the lighting and that stuff really intrigues me so I, I made sure that you know when I was hanging around the set I'd just be watching everybody and just um, absorbing I try to take in as much as I can with uh, any opportunity well I love asking people about their dreams and I assume that you're living yours with your music and the things that you get up to but what would be the ultimate dream for you if you could live it what would be the ultimate wish come true uh, you know what uh, I had a I once had this fantasy dream where I wanted to um, uh, have all my babies in Paris <laughs> and live there and raise them as you know French little uh, Frisian uh, children, but uh, that never happened. <laughs> um, instead, I'm raising them in good old Sydney. <laughs> um, but uh, I think sometimes uh, I, I often hope for. You know, to look after my family financially as well as, you know, um, to travel. I, like, I would really like to do more um, travelling around Australia. I think that's something that we take for granted a lot. Uh, we just don't get around to see, um, you know, the, the forgotten places like the Kimberleys. And, oh. yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, I'd really like to see that. And we met on MySpace, basically. So what's your little MySpace story and how do people check you out there? Uh, MySpace, uh, my Ma MySpace story is a friend of mine um, pretty much um, gave me the heads up on MySpace because I'm not very um, computer illiterate yeah. so uh, he, he told me and he said look I'll help you set up your space and it's been just amazing. Uh, I've just been fortunate to have co uh, contact with so many people throughout that, that site so uh, but you know I always find that when you log on, you're on, you stay busy and you just realise that it's like 3 a.m. in the morning yeah. and your eyes it's are addictive. burning. Your eyes are burning. <laughs> and I just, that's why I just can't do it very often. Like I've got to go, okay, you know, maybe once every couple of days. But yeah. these people that are on it 24-7, um, I just feel sorry for their eyes. Yeah. Because uh, I just, yeah, I've got to get those eye drops out. Well, it's been great to come along and see you. We, uh, meet you quickly here in Sydney, and all the best with everything that you do. Thank you. Oh, my heart, dog. <laughs> Thank you very much, Togsy. Olivia's done a great job with the camera. But pan around, have a look at this beautiful Sydney weather that we've got. It's just yeah. sensational, isn't it? Yes, that's right. See, yes. the views, <laughs> or lack of.